I know I'm recording this. Um, I, I just thought we'd break down. But I was gonna do a uh, flanking. Um, yeah, I, I was gonna do a flanking. Um. Like what was the best, but I feel like it would be a bit hard. So instead, I'm gonna go for the grade level. On a scale, I, I'm gonna do the classic one to ten, right? One being you failed, ten being you did great, zero being I you don't even qualify. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, and we're off to a great start with Ranger. Um. Just a bit meh. I mean, I like the colours. I might work well with them. Whatever this is, we've got some geometry lesson going on over here. This looks a bit weird. Number feels a bit too small as well. Um, I don't think there's a Starbucks logo on the top. I just don't like this. It's, uh, it's a 3 out of 10. I like the colour team, but the rest of the card doesn't work. Upside down went for the minute for a 708 kit. Um, I mean, it's a bit too basic um, for me. It, it's literally just a red car with sponsors on it, and the number feels a bit too big in this case. Um, it's got some weird blue uh, triangles as well. Um, very basic, but it, it, it will be distinguishable, I think. You know, you've got your bright red, you know, it's a crimson red. You know, I think it's the only red car in the quid, so you're going to know it's an upside down car. Um, for me, though, it's a pretty basic. Six of the turn, it's not trying to be amazing, but it's a solid bluey. I, I do think it is pretty good. Ironside have gone for the Williams 2014 approach here. If we're grading it on creativity, it's a one out of ten, but Ironside have never really been known for their creativity and liveries, given they copied the same one for the last for season two and season three, and then obviously for season four they went out and did some random shit. I like this, I really do. Uh, I am going to knock it points for other way than honesty, but I mean, I like this this livery. Um, my only real issue with it, is that you've got the iron side on the side, the logo obviously, and it doesn't feel like it fits in with the rest of the Louis, because the rest of the Louis is like this white kind of, you know, martini kind of vodka alcohol vibe, and then you've got some iron side, which is not like Norwegian, it doesn't really fit in, I, I, I like iron side stuff, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10, uh, it would have been an 8 out of 10 but had it not been copied, and probably a 9 out of 10 had they not had they got rid of this, but it's a good Louis. Esther's I am a huge fan of. This is the kind of stuff I've been wanting. The original design that works and it really kicks in with sponsors. Because that was the idea this year. We were going to have title sponsors. We were going to make the other run sponsors. You've got Kicker. You've got that kind of purple yellow. Kind of 90s kind of. It's like that 90s kind of like teenage music vibe. Right? You've got like a bit like cool in it. It's like cool. And it's like wow this is retro. This is hip. This is epic. The yellow fades into the purple. Well, it's two really good colours to come off each other. Um, sponsors are a bit... Yeah, in, in a bit weird. And obviously you've got the Singapore. The number is interesting. Um, got a nice black stripe going down the middle. Which, honestly, I would have liked it if it gone straight down the middle. Could have really worked out then. But I really like the next one. It's just got the name on the back. So you know exactly who it is. You go look at that car and you go, Oh my god, this is Nesta. I really like this definitely. 8.5 out of 10. Probably would have got a bit higher had they just saw that the sponsors bit, which was a weakness in last year's livery, but good job, Esther. I really like this livery. On to Envy, and one thing that catches your eye immediately is the stripe. Now, I don't really know why there's a stripe, but it looks nice. Got the nice free on the front, the mobile one title sponsor on the side, blends it well with the, uh... But it's actually an uh, Oruj into Bradion, because that would be an interesting twist of it. I don't really know why they've gone for a light blue red. I don't think they used a light blue in last year's car. So it's a bit weird they've gone for that. And it's two weird colours, isn't it? The way they've merged it is weird. They've got the red over the bonnet going down the back. But that doesn't really work. I thought they would have liked it if the red was a bit more the on the side. Look at the uh, S so you can see the purple goes down the side here. Um, but they haven't really done that with the red. They just kind of left it on the back so you're not really ever going to see it. Uh, if you're looking at the front cam. Um... It's a decent livery. Um, the colours and the way they blend don't really work for me. Um, but I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Um, I think there was definitely potential if they just fixed up the colour scheme a bit. And they maybe like had the red going down the sides a bit more. Maybe had the red and the blue kind of actually like stand off each other. 
Um, also, with the white, maybe the blue was darker or the red was darker. That way, they actually like stand out against each other. They're both bright, but it doesn't really work. But there, I can see the potential. Ten out of ten. I I love this ugly. Like I'm not even being biased because it's my friend. I I love I I love the Hasbro Synergy and Ugly. It is exactly what I would have wanted from this car. You got the witch energy. You got the Has logos. You got that nice little black gold mixture. As someone who loves black, this is even better for me. Um, got holding on the front obviously because they are holding. I think every team has that. Um, number is a bit too small for my liking. But when the rest of the level is this damn good, I I have nothing else to critique. The colours are flawless. The way they look is flawless. The title sponsors and the way the logo is done on the side and, and the hat in the back is brilliant. This is a gorgeous levelly. 10 out of 10. Fly Mayori is next, and I liked this levelly a lot when it first came out, but now that I'm looking at it a second view, there are definitely issues. Firstly, the Ascara on the front bonnet overlaps the green, and it does look like the monster here slightly goes into the rim, which is a bit annoying. You've also got some weird green stripe here, which I think is meant to work, but then they kind of cut it off here, with no real reason for it to be there, so you might as well have that side blue. The ones that energy here feels a bit out of place. You've got the Ascara on the wheel wing, which feels very weird. Uh, almost feels like they're trying to act as if they were Scar rather well, than actually why Yeah, you've got some nice stuff on the bonnet, but you rarely ever see the top of the bonnet in WTCL. Um, it's just a bit... There, there are issues, but I do like it. This is what I kind of hope Drake's livery had been a bit more like with the uh, colour scheme. The colour scheme is nice. Our Scarry feels a bit too placed there. You can see it's on the front, it's on the side, it's on the back. If you look at this, you think the team was called a Scarry, but they're actually Waimeori. There's no reference to Waimeori. Yeah, that's an issue with the hats. But, I mean, you know it's Nervo because it's which energy has. Um, but, like, you look at Envy. Right, okay, it's a bad argument, right? But, like, still, you look at that car, you know what it is. But, over here, like, you can see Hass, Hass, which I knew you has. Okay, you might think this is a Hass. It's not a Hass. It's a it's a Nerva. But here, you've got a Scar literally in the three main parts of the car that everyone's going to see. At least with one of the Hass things, it's kept to a logo on the rear left. And right down here. But it feels like this is why I try to be in a Scar team. 6.5 out of 10, missed potential. British team using a French livery 0 out of 10, moving on. Uh, look at Drake. Oh my god, this is terrible. I, I've actually just developed seven forms of cancer in my brain looking at this. One out of ten. If I had to explain every single issue with this car, I would be here until, for about an hour. Disappointment of the season. We had heard all about Peregrine Shell, how they wanted that livery done. And it looks like one of those Poundland batteries. Um, You know the ones, like the knockoff batteries with like the yellow, the red, the white. It costs you a pound, it lasts like two days and it runs out of battery, so you gotta go back to the store to get another pack. Um I don't I, I want to like it, but I can't. I mean the red looks nice, but then the white kinda overpowers the yellow, but then the yellow overpowers the white on the front because it's on the bottom. But then there's the mess of the V overlapping the number and the number overlapping the shell, and then you've got the nitro plus and it looks like a fucking battery. Sharp is written on the back for some reason and not shell, if that was the main aim here. I mean, missed potential 5 out of 10. Shogun Yukai, no. Got some weird logos. I don't know what any of this is. This is, I guess, Japan. Sorry, 3 out of 10. I don't like this livery. Stoffel is next, and it definitely has potential. I like the blow of the front. This is definitely the best part of the car for me. This just kind of feels meh, and then it kind of goes into, I think, a grey at the back, which looks nice. This part of the car is a mess, and it's definitely too basic, but I feel like, with well, a bit of improvement and a bit of tweaking, maybe middle way for the season, if we maybe had, like, the blue kind of, like, meet the black in the middle, and we had, like, this real sharp contrast, it would work well. I'd also like it if the sponsors were a bit more clearly laid out. You've got Beetle, obviously, but then T+, I mean, it's just kind of slapped here, should take up the whole front body, you should be like, right, this is our, this is our sponsor. Then maybe on the top you have like some indication of your team. I've seen Shogun Yukai do that. I saw obviously why we always tried to do that. Didn't really work there. But here I thought that was definitely a good opportunity and it didn't really take it. 5.5 out of 10. Potential, but leaves a lot of work. Santosi is next. And honestly, it looks like if the Detroit Red Wings um 
it looks as if the Detroit Red Wings took a Spaniard on the car, and this is what they came up with. It's poor. I don't like it. This this is just meh. This just looks like a cheap version of the Detroit Red Wing logo, and it just doesn't work. Two out of ten. So Bergen is next, and it is exactly what we got last year. It's the French flag on the car. My only my only issue with it is obviously got the ball, but it feels like it's only displaying one sponsor, unless the sponsor is on the bonnet here, which it might actually be. Or oh, the roof of the car even. Because this isn't standing out. This feels like there's a lot of potential that could be done on the bonnet, right? But there's nothing on the bonnet. It's just a logo, which is in yellow on the white. So why would you not put the yellow on the blue or the yellow on the red? Which is going to make it stand out when you put it on the white, because no one can barely read it. There's also nothing on the weird spoiler, which is something a lot of teams use. You can see here, uh, Santa's got it, he's got to go to Platinum. They've got something on it. You know, Drake, they've got some color issues on it. But they've just left it white, and it feels like a massive missed potential here. Would have liked it if maybe they carried on like the effect here, had like, the blue, the white, and the red, or have like a sponsor on the back. Oh, I mean, put Tiburg in the back, and like the French colors have like Tim in blue, um, Igor in white, and then Ian in red, have like that nice little fade, it would really show that they are a French team. But that feels like a missed potential. There is potential in this level, though. I'll give Georgia credit for that. It is a good design, but it needs a little bit of work to be an 8 or 9, but I'm going to give it a solid 6.5 out of 10. On to Agbe, and I, I like Agbe's livery. They haven't changed it in the last three seasons, and yet it still continues to look fresh, new, and innovative to me. Because it's a very simple design. It's like a bee. Black, yellow, stripes and middle, works beautifully. Very solid, very Agbe, 8 out of 10. Red Star. No. It, it It's just the Malta flag gone wrong. This isn't being used, which is fine, because I don't think you can have these cards. We're, we're going to ignore this part of the card now, but it, it, it's just two colours, and no, 3 out of 10, lazy. Motorline, I mean, speaking of lazy, it's just two sponsors. Blue, 3 out of 10. 0 out of 10, please help, bring back John Deere, 2023, let's go. Right, next up, Lava. It's the Poland car, but I like it. Uh... When you compare it to some of the other series so far, yeah, it doesn't really hold up, but it's a good 7 out of 10. They're not trying to be ambitious. Wouldn't we really like it if, instead of having Vodafone here and this up here, put the logo on the front and have the Vodafone on the top? Um, if you switch that too round, it could have been a 7.5 out of 10, but it's good. Um, very solid. Very good. Very nice. On to Liberté. It's a shame they're not just like a bit of a box car, but I like the Platinum Season 2 kind of eyes. We've got this nice little, like, crescent thing here. Um... Not sure why it's there, but it looks very nice. You've got the Coca-Cola sponsor very clearly laid out, which I think actually works well with the colour scheme. Because, of course, Coca-Cola's red. What's blends off red well? Black. So they've used black. Um, see here on the top, you've got some nice little stripes. Blend down. If you go around here, it's a solid level. I'll give it a solid 7 out of 10. League of Fox had issues. Um, why is there yellow here? Why is all this overlapping? What, what is this? Why is League of Fox spelled one cap? A 0 out of 10. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove you from the server. Um... Is this Dentu? Who kicked the car? Um, yeah, no, nah, it has issues. Um, I like the colour scheme though. I think the red ball with the grey, I mean obviously grey for wolf and yellow for red ball. I think it works well and there is definite potential, but they just need to clean this mess up over here. And it's good, Louis. And tell Filthy to stop kicking the car when holes that bottles it for the night time Six out of ten. Velocitor, I... This isn't synced, this isn't synced, this isn't synced, whatever this is. Had it synced up nicely, 9 out of 10 gorgeous level, but because it doesn't sync up, 7 out of 10, I'm, I'm sorry. Outback just stole the Rosal design, so I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10, because that's literally plagiarism. Pepsi Mallard, I don't like this livery, it's an Ikea car. This is nice, I really like the front of the car, and it all just kind of falls apart when you get further back. I like this on the top, but then this kind of over here, kind of looks like someone accidentally, like, it looks like someone ran out of, um paint doing this so they just kind of left it and hope no one would notice uh i do like this although i have to find this a bit confusing with the bird on top of the pepsi making you think that pepsi's logo is that but actually that's mallard if you replace that with mallard it would have worked but as it is i i'd say it's a decent 6.5 out of 10 with improvements project r is something it's definitely a project r level you've got some nice stripes got some black you've got a nice sponsor very clearly laid Roof could have used a bit of work, and I do think that the colours needed for fighting, particularly with the side, it just kind of feels like this kind of ends, and then this kind of starts, and this kind of got pushed out of the way for that. 
Um, six out of ten. Rosal, well, it's a Rosal design. The only part of the car I actively hate is this bit with the Aramco not really being visible and these two having some kind of bridge thing. Well, and then the whole blue thing going straight down the car. This feels like a lost bit of a missed potential as well with this kind of there and this kind of there and then the rest of it wasn't really used. Similar common supply to this as I've used for most of these. It's a bit basic. It needs a bit of work, maybe. Six out of ten. Um, Team Lolo is next and it's black. It's red. You've got the Angoda on the top. Similar, it's literally what I'm going to say. Six out of ten. Needs work. Waterford is next. Lastly, and it's just a French car with the elements of the red. Basic four out of ten. That, oh, that was terrible. 